put that in there. That's a good one, wasn't it? That was good. <laughs> Good evening, it is evening here. Um, it is the same day that I cooked the beef bourguignon, and I just wanna let you know, you probably hear Miss Abigail in the background. My in-laws are here visiting because this is my father-in-law's birthday cake. Instead of doing a birthday cake, I decided to make him apple dumplings with vanilla ice cream on top. So I wanted to share this recipe with you guys. Um, I probably make this recipe a few times a year for when people come to visit. So obviously for apple dumplings, you have the apples. I'm using gala apples. You can use whatever apples you would like. We have sugar, cinnamon, butter, vanilla, crescent rolls, and the secret ingredient, Mountain Dew. Now don't turn your nose up to it. I know what y'all are thinking. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. All right, so we're gonna start by spraying our pan. I have a nine by 13 baking dish and I just sprayed that with some oil. Abby's getting into the refrigerator right now. She's taking advantage of the fact that I'm doing camera work. <laughs> then we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees. While we're waiting for our oven to preheat, we're gonna go ahead and peel our apples and cut them and core them. So the purpose of the Mountain Dew is to get the crust on top of these apple dumplings. What you doing? Looks good. <laughs> I need 16 apples. It's like one of those cooking shows where the people sit at the bar and watch you and then I'm gonna give them taste tests. <laughs> apples are peeled, cored, and cut. So you're cutting them into 16 slices. Um, and then I'm doing two cans of the crescent rolls. Obviously if you don't have that many people then you could just do one apple um, which would give you eight slices and then one roll of crescent rolls. You just roll them out, take an apple slice, roll it in there, and put it in your baking dish. Did you have to spray Pam or anything in your baking dish? Yes, I did. If you want to use butter, you can, but I use Pam. I'll make the coffee while you make that. Okay. All right. This, this has to cook for 40 minutes. It's okay, we can have several cups of coffee in 40 minutes. Okay. There's you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. We have our apples rolled up into the crescent rolls. Now we're gonna take our one cup of butter and one and a half cups of sugar and put those in a saucepan. Um, let the butter melt and then mix the sugar into that. So our butter is melted. Now we're gonna add our sugar. You just add it in and then mix it lightly. Once you let the butter and sugar cook a little bit, then you're gonna add your tablespoon of vanilla right into the pot. Okay. You can turn the stove off, take your mixture, and pour it over your apples. I know what y'all are thinking right now. This is a terrible, terrible thing to eat. I didn't say I was healthy. It's good though. Now open your Mountain Dew, or have your cameraman open your Mountain Dew. <laughs> Thank you. You only need 12 ounces. This is a 20 ounce, so just go by looks. I think that's good. And then you're going to top it off with some cinnamon. Put it in the oven, bake it on 350 for 40 minutes, and it'll be ready to go. Oh boy, the timer went off. That means deliciousness. I wish you could smell this right now. The cinnamon, oh, mmm. So we are gonna plate this up, add our scoop of vanilla ice cream, and enjoy my father-in-law's birthday with him. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and please wish my father-in-law Bruce a happy birthday down in the comments below. He turned the big 7-0 so we're so proud of him. <laughs> He's doing good. All right. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. If you make it, let me know what you think. So I've got my, what is this? Butter, this is butter. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You're the professional. Yeah. Stop. I'm holding stuff. Okay. Can I go? Are you doing audio? Oh God. I can't do this. You gotta do it like you did last time. Okay. I, I can do a different mic setup, but not for this video right now. Okay. Okay. okay don't, well, don't do that. Don't again. bust at your camera, man. I'll make you look stupid. See, really? I'm all zoomed in on you. Blurry. Listen. You you need to keep it Getting the way you had it. Hey. Hey. Shh. I'm not gonna shush. You need to shush. I'm the boss. Pots, pans, and Priscilla. Nothing about a video crew. Y'all are one in a million. Wow. We're, no. No. That's not what you want to say. There's more fish in the sea. Something like that. <laughs> I'll just squeeze it in there. It's fitting. It's like trying to get in the car next to you and you're a little chunky. <laughs> Oh, you don't know what that's like? <laughs> Eat more of this dessert and you will know. <laughs> you know what? You need to, you need to simmer down now. <sighs> I'm, I'm tired of you too. Uh, you, you know, you hit 4,000 subscribers and all of a sudden you're just, you just think you're a celebrity. Like you're top of the world. <laughs> Everybody else just works. I know why, I know why people compare you to Paula Deen. Put that in there. That was a good one, wasn't it? It was good. <laughs>